who doesn't love Jackie Chan? The martial arts actor, stunt choreographer, producer, director, singer and man of all trades. And his success didn't happen overnight. It took a lot of hard work and persistence for Jackie Chan to become so famous. On April 7, 1954 in Hong Kong, Jackie Chan was born Chan Kong Sang. He was the son of two Chinese Civil War refugees. Even from a young age, young Chan had a wealth of energy. Nicknamed Pow Pow, which translates to cannonball, he was always on the move and always rolling around. It appears that some things in life simply don't change. It was at the young age of five that Chan found himself in his first film, 1962's Big and Little Wong Tin Bar. He would go on to study other forms of martial arts, including karate, judo, taekwondo and jeet kune do. He also continued to push himself as an on-screen performer. At the age of 17, Chan Kong Sang worked as a stuntman for a pair of Bruce Lee pictures, Fist of Fury and Enter the Dragon. There is a good chance you've heard of that latter one before. During his work on these celebrated films, Jackie Chan worked under the alias Chan Yuan Lung. Don't give up, he told himself. One day you will succeed. Gradually, his efforts began to show promise. Jackie Chan was quickly becoming known for his willingness and ability to perform death-defying stunts, his seemingly fearless jumps and falls turning heads in the industry. In 1971, he was signed on to work as a stunt double for films featuring none other than Bruce Lee himself. Jackie was starstruck as he stood behind the camera, watching Lee deliver lightning-fast blows. It was later that year that Jackie Chan earned his first starring role in Little Tiger of Canton. The film only had a limited release in 1973. It was a bit of a rough patch for Jackie Chan shortly after that. Having trouble finding stunt work, and due to the commercial failure of his earlier films, Jackie Chan starred in the adult comedy, All in the Family, in 1975. It was the only film that featured Jackie Chan not performing a single fight or stunt scene. It was also the first time Jackie Chan did a nude scene. In 1976, Jackie Chan briefly attended college at Dixon College, but that tenure didn't last long. Chan soon became a construction worker, where he earned the nickname of Little Jack. Over time, it became Jackie. But Jackie Chan was determined to be the best, and he trained harder than anyone around him. While everyone slept, he was up practicing his moves in the mirror until 4 a.m. Willie Chan, who was a film producer in the Hong Kong film industry. He was impressed by Jackie Chan's stunt work. He was hoping to model Jackie Chan after Bruce Lee, and he gave him the film New Fist of Fury. At one point, Bruce accidentally hit Jackie in the head with a stick while filming. The young actor recalls taking the opportunity to pretend he was in serious pain in an effort to keep Bruce's attention on him for as long as possible. This mishap opened a conversation between the two, and Bruce took a liking to Jackie, teaching him a few moves of his own. Jackie was hurt, miserable, and forced to rethink his plan of action. He decided he didn't want to become the next Bruce Lee. He wanted to be the first Jackie Chan. His first big successes came in 1978 with Snake and Eagle's Shadow, where he reportedly knocked out a tooth. It was followed by Drunken Master, in which he almost went blind. It was around this time that Jackie Chan became an international celebrity. In the 1980s, Jackie Chan appeared in American productions like The Big Brawl and The Cannonball Run in 1980 and 1981, respectively. It was there where Jackie Chan's fame continued to excel, notably in East Asia, with hit movies such as The Young Master and Dragon Lord. It was during these big movies, in particular, that Chan's action style was evolving, with the actor-stunt choreographer incorporating more elaborate stunts. These iconic movies would include Project A, Police Story and Armor of God, all of which were critically acclaimed, big commercial successes and award-winning productions. Jackie Chan was everywhere. A huge celebrity all around the world, the actor made his final movie with Golden Harvest, titled Who Am I? The actor was putting himself and his name in a variety of projects, including movies, video games, animated shows and more. It's clear that this incredible work ethic, mixed with talent, luck, skill and persistence, led to Chan's enormous success and good fortune both here and abroad. Although Jackie Chan never learned to fully read or write, use a computer, or fully lose his fear of public speaking, he never stopped pushing his limits. He now speaks seven languages, contributes millions of dollars to philanthropic causes, and is a creative entrepreneur with a desire to do one good thing every day. With his cheeky smile and worn-out jeans, the simplicity and can-do attitude of this avid soccer fan is nothing less than charming. He shares his words of wisdom to others in imperfect English, hoping to inspire someone to keep fighting for their dreams. When asked how anyone can get to where he is now, Jackie smiles and simply says, never give